We look now to race number six and uh, the sixth over the 1200 metres. It is a class four event, wood on fire, top weight and a wide draw again. Exuberant carries two pounds less than his second behind Hercules, our class actors on a seven day backup. Shining Fortune raced wide last time, Blue Stitch has the blinkers going on. I need money for MM Nebula at his previous start. Second time to Happy Valley. Sunshine Legendary is first up. Easy Life has the cheek pieces off and the blinkers going on, Tom. In the speed options here in this race, they come from Easy Life, who uh, led up in a recent uh, barrier trolley, has led on race day in the past as well. And to uh, take what you need, who uh, was a little awkward to just after the start, so he never really got anywhere near the pace last uh, time out. Then you've got uh, Paul Exuberant, who uh, might be closer from barrier four and MM Nebula from two. Yeah, he gets a nice run as well. Wood and Fire drew wide and had no luck last time. I think there's a place for him midfield because a lot of horses like to get back. So he'll be looking at trying to slot in, but there is a chance he could be trapped wide once again. All right, so Wood on Fire, we'll see him in our third replay, Tom. But we start with Exuberant, who was pretty good last time. Blue Stitch and Birdsville also comes out of this. Yeah, he was. He was about midfield in the end and uh, really rallied quite nicely, I thought, and stayed on it to the end. He is just a one-time winner, but it was course and distance in this uh, grade. And he's obviously done well, Paul, off his two runs because he's up a bit in body weight here too. Yeah, so he's uh, that, yeah, that's definitely a positive for him. Um, I thought uh, Birdsville's been a little bit disappointing there, wasn't he, midfield? Very. Mm -hmm. You end up running fifth did birds, Phil. Now, we're going back seven days ago, Paul. You were talking about our class act. There he is on the inside. We're going to show the head-on of the run home, of which he doesn't get much clear room. No, look, look, he did win really nice here, big odds, and I'm really wary about these horses that do that. But then he's, he's backed it up with this, and I thought if he'd got the gap at the right time, he would have been a lot closer. You could see him just really knocked over there. So... Look, I, I, I'm, I'm happy that he's put two together, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so he did have excuses last uh, time out. Um, you could see he just uh, got no room there over the, the final stages. So I think he is worth considering this time. And MM Nebula appears in this one. Uh, Tommy tried up really well leading into this race. Jumbo Legend runs fourth and Wood on Fire had to do plenty of work. He was a bit awkward at the start and missed it uh, a little bit uh, too, did MM Nebula. Then he got three back on the fence and he was keen down the back. But uh, considering all of that, he actually stayed on OK there, uh, did to MM Nebula. The one I like here is Jumbo legend to Paul. He was on the fence near the 300 metres. He's hooked him out wide, come across all those heels and run on late. Yeah, it's a good run from both those two. They're both in for me as well. I think they're both good chances. And Wood on fire, I'm going to give him a slight chance as well. It's just the draw again. It worries me a bit. He has been good to you in the past. He has, definitely has. Yep. Your best bet goes around here. I do. I do like our class act. I just like the fact he's put two together. I thought that um, the horse has really obviously improved in the off-season. So he's on top. The four to beat MM Nebula should get a nice run. Jumbo Legend, as Tom said, it was a really good run from him. He hooked off heels. And Wood on fire if he gets in. I think he's a chance. But he's still got to carry that big weight. 4851. I'll go with Jumbo Legend on that run there that he produced last start. It was a long way back, peeled out wider in the straight and did run on well. He has been beaten favourite at his first run here in Hong Kong and he was 10-1 to 1 last start. Exuberant, Shining Fortune covered a lot of ground. He's been consistent enough without winning and our class act unlucky last start. So 5, 2, 6 and 4. It's all about Vincent Ho and Casper Founds for Tom in race number 6.